talk I wave my arms like a mime I flow towards lands in opposition I move towards Hi, this is Matt O'Leary and that was a sneak peek from the song Wavering Mast from my album From an Orchard of Flame coming hopefully the end of July or early August. This is another What I'm Listening To video from the month of June 2015. I'm doing it a little differently this time. I'm gonna do my top 10 songs from June. At number 10, it's The Roses from Virginian dream pop band Eternal Summers. They really came through with this one. This is a lazy and perfectly pleasant album. There is some post-punk mixed in here with some thicker and more brooding guitars, but I prefer the roses and other tracks with this light airiness. Nicole Young's beautiful voice and this bright bass lead will lull you into a cozy summer daydream. Everything I have to say about number 9 is on my recent review of the album. It's Smooth Sailing by the soul singer Leon Bridges, debut album Coming Home. This album doesn't push the envelope too much. He pretty much sticks to this classic 60s uh, soul sound, but you can't really argue with genuine talent and a respect for the classics. Moving down the list at number 8, it's Got an F from Jail's new album Brain Cream. This jangly guitar pop band on the quirky Burger Records deliver a more experimental version of the early Shins albums, maybe like Shoots Too Narrow. Seriously, the hook on this song sounds exactly like that album. I love the space that this band leads on the second half of this track, not filling it with, you know, soloing, but just playing the progression through. At number seven, we got kind of a weird one from an album that really came out of nowhere this month. It is Collapse from Third Ion's album 13-8-Bit. This band mixes this 8-bit video game sound with a very sophisticated progressive metal sound. And yes, this sounds like a nerd's biggest fantasy, but this band manages to pull it off in a very tasteful way that a lot of these niche genre bands don't. The music actually transfers seamlessly in and out of these 8-bit bits. And it's written in a way that it's not just like, ooh, look what we can do. And this singer kills it with a very rich and meaty tone, but with the finesse of maybe the guy from Tesseract, and the lyrical delivery of Maynard James, James Keenan from Tool. At number six, this one's a more obvious one. It's an album that's received some rave reviews, but also inevitably some harsh criticism. And it is My Love Is Cool, the debut album from Wolf Alice, the song Bros. The songs here are really a pastiche of 90s rock sounds, uh, from grunge to the cranberries, especially on this song, but I'm not really one to blame any band for taking its influences and uh, making their own version. You know, I'm not going to deny music that's good and catchy and makes me happy. Bros is really the perfect pop rock song carried by the beautifully breathy and reverb-soaked voice of Ellie Roswell. At number five, we're halfway there, and this is when we really start getting to the good stuff. It's another debut album from the band Algiers, the song And When You Fall. Algiers is a politically conscious post-punk trio incorporating elements of blues and industrial music mixed with the gospel stylings of vocalist Franklin Fisher. Yes, gospel and punk. The intense passion of this music is really evident as they comment on the racial and religious tensions in the South. This music is super heavy. Seriously, this album will stop you in your tracks and that bass line. At number four, another extremely heavy song that gave me these giddy giggles when I heard it because it's just so sludgy and unrelenting. This is A Thousand Mile Stare from the new album Bleeder from the metal band Mutoid Man. You know when metal is played with so much conviction that it just sends chills down your spine? No. This is probably most similar to a classic like Black Sabbath or a current band like Torch with just this very thick psychedelic sound. This song takes off into scales and chugs played in unison between the bass and guitar and doesn't let the energy down until the last guitar wail and guttural roar. It's really a kick in the face of an album and I think this song best represents that. At numero tres, it's Lone Wolf and Cub from Thundercat's new mini-LP. Thundercat is an esteemed bassist who, given his age, has a very impressive body of work, 
and has appeared on many great albums from Erica Badu to his label's owner, Flying Lotus. These artists on the Brain Feeder label are known for this incredible production and experimenting with the sounds of soul, jazz, hip-hop, and electronic music. You have to explore this label if you're a music fan. Enough said. The song features the legend Herbie Hancock himself, along with the reserved and soulful voice of Thundercat, and a very impressive and fantastic bass solo at the end. Uh, in bars of five, that sounds a lot like tapping. For a bassist like myself, it kind of blows my mind that a song this accessible can have this amazing bass solo. I'm going to cheat a little bit with number two and number one, my favorite songs from June, and go with the same band, The Velveteen, the songs from their new album, All Is Illusory, the title track, and The Manifest. Some albums, like Sufjan's from this year, flow together into one continuous vibe. This album is not one of those. Every song on my favorite album of the month jumps into totally new territory. This is a comeback album of sorts. They haven't had one since, I think, 2006. Haven't really listened too much uh, to their previous stuff, but this one really caught my attention on NPR's first listen. The song The Manifest on here is a vocoder-driven ballad with a monotonous melody that you will not forget. This is everything I loved about Coldplay's song Midnight, but with really nuanced drumming and lazy guitars, this is a great song. And my number one song from June, All Is Illusory, the title track from this Velveteen album, is another soft ballad led by uh, the acoustic piano with more of these uh, vocoder vocal harmonies. This is a breathtaking and tear-inducing song, and I think the part that really got me is in the chorus when uh, the vocal harmonies break off into this dissonant jazzy chord. I have this thing coming on vinyl, and I just cannot wait to listen to it again. Uh, the vocals on this album go anywhere from Bono to Kurt Cobain. So that's it from June. I hope I was able to give you at least one or two songs that you haven't heard and can discover and enjoy for yourself. Again, please like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff that all the YouTubers say. And thank you so much for watching.